They got so much energy, huh? How you guys doing? That was the best show we've ever done in our entire lives. And I saw their group of friends and I was like, I want to be a part of that. Yeah, exactly. I, I was, yeah, like you know, they, they, they look cool. They look fun. So I was like, I want to hang out with them. That music video is beautiful because like zero dollars. <laughs> Dari the other stage, mm-hmm. and gimana Ray? We are joined here by Peach Tree Rascal. Make some noise! They got so much energy, huh? <laughs> How you guys doing? That was the best show we've ever done in our entire lives. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Repeat that, please. That was the greatest show the Peace Tree Rascals have ever done in their entire lives. Woo! Shout out to Indonesians, no, yeah. No BS. No, no BS. No BS. No BS. No BS. So I'm assuming the crowd was amazing. Cr- amazing. The crowd was amazing, and we've been just excited to come here for years because Jakarta has been one of our top streaming cities over oh, the past really? three or four years. So. It's just a long time coming. So. Now that's what's up, yeah? Yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, you, you came from California, I assume? Yes, San yeah. Jose? San Jose. Uh, how do you guys handle the jet, jet lag and all that? You Are you guys good like, right now? Are you guys yeah, tired yeah. and all that? Not yeah, at all. No, Not got, at all. I got an adrenaline rush right now. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's the best time, huh? <laughs> so yeah. maybe another round? Another yeah. round? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> if they have us. Okay, let's get uh, to the history real quick. Uh, how do you how do you guys come up as, as this group? Actually, what's what's the backstory? So the backstory, it all starts with Isaac over here. Go oh, tell him your backstory real quick. All right, look, check this out, right? All right. So see <laughs> what you, see listening. what what had happened was, uh, I was making music since I was like twelve. Mm. Okay. Not making music, but just rapping and recording it yeah. and handing out CDs and stuff. Making yeah. music. It making music. <laughs> <laughs> And then when I was like 14, I moved to their city, San Jose. And then slowly but surely, I started, I became friends with Dom first, sophomore year. And then I saw their group of friends and I was like, I want to be a part of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they they, they look cool. They look fun. So I was like, I want to hang out with them, but I'm at home and I'm too shy to ask to hang out. And then eventually Targ asked me to hang out. And then after I started hanging out with Isaac is when I started freestyling and rapping with him, just like for fun, like we would hang out and then someone would play a beat and me and Isaac would freestyle and then all of our friends would listen and some of them would like mess around and freestyle a little bit too. But after I started freestyling with Isaac, I started to go over to his house and see like his recording studio, his microphone. And we had like, he had like a little cheap setup. It was like Audacity, (laughs) which is like a very cheap free, uh, free, Yeah, free like recording software yeah. and we would just start making songs together. And then after I started doing that, Joseph started to see us doing that. So he would pop in every once in a while right. and then like maybe sing something, maybe just like sit around and hang out with us while yeah. we make music. And then after we graduated high school was when Dom started to pick up producing. And then he put in like 70 hours a week, Oof. just like locked Ooh. in, focused, making music, just trying to like become a good producer. He was yeah. teaching himself how to produce everything. And like that process of him, like producing and like getting better at production, like put us in a different mentality where it was like, right. all right, like this isn't like just for fun anymore. This is like, we're gonna try every day to get better than the day before and try to make a song that's better than the last song. And a few years of doing that, like we didn't drop any music we didn't have a name we didn't like there was no mm-hmm. real plan but spend a few years just getting better and like creating our own sound and you know what do you guys hey, hold on i got a question though so you're saying that he's actually self-taught on producing yeah no. we're, we're honestly all self-taught yeah. like we all learn through yeah. youtube bro that's like, amazing yeah. like like yeah, like looking at tutorials and all that yeah basically damn bro yeah and joseph <laughs> damn bro <laughs> And Joseph, Joseph started like, he's always played guitar. Yeah. And he was inspired by Jasper and like their family is like all. Me and Jasper are cousins. And they're Filipinos. And they're, yeah, yeah. They're, they're Filipinos and you know how Filipinos love to sing. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It runs in our blood. Yeah. It runs in our blood. So like him picking up the guitar made it more fun for Dom to make music because now he had a guitar player there. And then 
he didn't really like recording guitar, yeah, yeah. so he called he called Jasper. Yeah, over. me and Dom are like the shyest of the group, so like we're at a point where when we're working together, we're really comfortable at like creating and like just being free with it, basically. I see, I see. Um, well, now we're talking about your songs, right? So, um, in your songs, a lot of your songs have meaningful lyrics behind it, you know. And what's the mood during the writing camp? Do you have a general mood or? Um, I, any stories behind it i feel like we all kind of like we all have different backgrounds yeah. we all grew up like our families are all different we all have like different perspectives and different like ways of thinking and we all use our music individually in our writing to get you know our like things off of our chest and try, it's kind of like therapy it's kind of like you know like if i feel a certain type of way i'll just write something until i feel better and then like the words I write will help me feel better, or help like clear up the, the chaos in my head. And then it kind of turns it into something beautiful. And that's why like, if you listen to the songs, like the lyrics could be kind of sad and kind of like on the darker side, but the feeling of it is more brighter and it makes you feel better because that's literally how it is when we make music. It's like we write down our feelings and try to get things out to feel better and then the music lifts us up so we have no choice but to feel better as we're making music because it's therapeutic right? it's therapeutic <laughs> you guys, right? yeah it's, it's like a re refreshing thing for you to, as maybe to. anyway guys i saw your last music video i think it's unique because you guys just basically sing and then chill in the music video yeah. like do you guys like involve in the creative process or oh, is there any so. yeah exactly oh yeah we're all like that's george right here Oh yeah, he does. He does Props to him. Props to George. <laughs> no, George is one of the biggest pieces to the PC Rascal success. He's he's like the bridge between the music and the people. He gets like he brings the people into our world with the visuals, and it's not like like he's self taught too. He shot his mer first music video with wow. us, Clyde, our first song, and it's just like <laughs> which is crazy, but it's it's like it just shows. You know, like you don't need a lot. You don't need a big production. You don't yes. need money. We had nothing but gas money. That was it, and one yeah. camera. And yeah. Then just like creativity, and even yeah. then, like there was nothing crazy about our music videos. It's just yeah. us singing to the singing to the camera, just letting people into our world. Like it's just us walking down our street, uh, uh, sitting in front of Dom's house, in front of the shed, like with the sunset, and like just trying to find a way to connect ourselves to the music so people can feel connected to us. I mean, wait, 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 wait. I'm really curious about this. I should. Any music video that is really personal to you guys and your favorite? I think uh, that is a deep question, Ray. Yeah, no, that is a that deep is question. question. This is exclusive, bro. I I really really love um, Oh Honey, the music yeah. video for Honey. What's it's that? the the story behind it is it's very it's just very emotional, I guess, and personal for like Joseph at least and for me because it involves like an older version of Joe, like reminiscing about his life as a young person. And, and it's, I just think it's a beautiful like love story in the whole video. So, yeah. I think I think that's a, a really good choice. For, but I also think that that was like a little bit after we gained some success. So we had a little bit of a higher production. Yes. So I like to look back at like, I think Mariposa, the, like that music video is beautiful because like zero dollars and it's all like in our neighborhoods just around our houses and just like making something out of nothing and like i really love that kind of that kind of feeling really wow the whole time he's like this i like, mean <laughs> we we as the listeners and the enjoyers we definitely see the passion uh through your music so i think guys thank you so much for having us no, thank, thank you. you so much for your time thank you, thank you guys. guys and thank you thank, thank you, you so Jakarta. much for watching please like and subscribe Ventory, and listen to these guys because this guy is very passionate towards music so love you gue nara dan gue re kita cabut bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. <laughs>